guys, right now I am with Jacob and I look in a very crazy state right now, but he is quickly touching up my color. So sweet, he came by to fix it and to make it all perfect for tomorrow. <laughs> Yay, I'm so excited. <sighs> and um, yeah, I will put all his information in the description box down below if you're looking for the most amazing hair colorist because yeah, Hi. he's right there. Uh, he's uh, mixing up some color. So um, yeah, we'll have all his information in the description box down below because yeah, you're just a hair magician and I can't believe you made me go like strawberry, strawberry. red, like oh my blonde. I, I never thought I would We're amping this. it up a little bit today. Yeah, I'm so excited. Also, my boyfriend loved it by the Did way. Did he love it? Yeah, he was, I was like, what do you like more? Like this or blonde? And I always feel like guys want like natural, you know, like right, more right. like you natural. And he was like, don't let me, don't make me choose. It's like choosing between your favorite child. I'm like, okay, so he really likes it. He, that's good. That's yeah. what you want. But everybody said it was like, this is your color. Like you need to go warm. I was like, I guess I'm going warm. Oh yeah. <laughs> but literally what you said happened of like, once you go warm, you realize mm. how nice it is. I know I don't want to say it, but I'm so fucking grateful you're mine. So Jacob just finished. Uh, putting in the toner and the gloss in my hair um, and I'm so excited for how it's going to turn out he said that he kind of amplified the color a little bit um, so we'll see how it goes because the reason why we're doing this is because I uh, use this coloring conditioner first uh, to maintain the copper tones in my hair but it turned out a little bit too rose gold which it looked beautiful, like don't take me wrong, but it was a little bit too pink um, and I wanted more of a natural color, like a natural reddish ginger color, if that makes sense, like a strawberry blonde. So um, yeah, that's why Jacob was like, okay, let me do a quick house call because he lives super close to me and um, we're gonna fix it. So that is, um, that's what happened. So yeah, just a few minutes to wait and then I'll be back with my hair all beautiful. Hopefully. And welcome to a new vlog on my YouTube channel. <sighs> I don't even know where to start because I have so many updates for you. I am going to be traveling to Texas. I'm going to Wichita Falls, which is in the northern part of Texas, um, close to Alabama. It's, I think, a very small city or town. Uh, there's not that much to do there, but the reason why I am going there is because I am going to visit my boyfriend Sebastian at the military base because he is currently in tech school there. My boyfriend joined the Air Force as a reserve three months ago and uh, we first had to go through basic training, which meant that for almost two months we had only contact through letters. This meant that for almost two months we were writing each other letters. These are some of the letters he wrote me. And uh, he would receive like a phone call. Usually it was about once every two weeks, but one time it was almost three weeks that we didn't have any contact. I had no idea how I was doing. It was really, really hard. And um, a lot of you, I think, have also seen me struggle in the previous vlogs. But after he graduated his basic training, he went to tech school. Tech school is more like college. And then tech school would be kind of like a regular long distance relationship because after his classes, he does have access to his phone. So during the day, we can't really talk, but then in the evening, we do talk. So that's just been such a relief. And now the most exciting part is that after three months, I am finally able to visit him. 
in this vlog everything is happening so um <laughs> I feel like I'm already kind of getting emotional. I think this is going to be a very emotional vlog that we will both enjoy watching back when we get older, I guess. Um, so I'm kind of doing this not only for you, but also for myself. This is one of my, the perks of my job. I love looking back at my life and seeing how far I've come from being this very insecure girl in law school in the Netherlands to making this huge decision of moving to Washington DC to then realizing that I wanted to stay in this country and start my own business, be an entrepreneur, not follow the traditional legal career, moving to Los Angeles by myself, coming here during COVID and then meeting the love of my life who happens to live two blocks from where I'm living and let me tell you, in LA, that is pretty much impossible. Um, it kind of felt like faith. Um, yeah. Anyways, we will be doing, I think, the boyfriend tag when he comes back, which is going to be September. So after this, we still have pretty much two months to survive without um, being physically with each other. Um, but then after that, we are moving in together. So. Sorry for this very rambly intro, but I'm actually not even done with everything that I wanted to tell you because I also have some beauty updates that I wanted to talk about. First of all, I uh, wanted to address my lashes because I always wear false lashes. I have them always linked in the description box down below. Like, false lashes are my babies. <laughs> I just love how they give me a very glamorous look and I know some people find them too much but I just love the glam. So because I'm going to Texas and it's like super super humid there and really hot, I thought, you know what, strip lashes are probably gonna fall off, mascara is gonna run, so let me try some lash extensions. So I actually got lash extensions, this is the final result, and I did vlog the experience a little bit, so I'm going to insert this clip right now. Hey guys, so right now it is actually Monday, so one day before I started this vlog, but I quickly wanted to show you my before of my natural lashes before I'm getting lash extensions. So as you can see, my lashes are pretty much invisible. I actually have quite a few lashes, but because they're blonde, you literally can't even see that I have lashes. Um, so with that being said, I'm very excited to show you the final result. I'm on my way to the lash studio. Um, in about like two minutes, my Uber is going to be here. And um, yeah, I'll take you with me. So I'm excited to show you the final result. And this is the before. This is the final result. How beautiful do my lashes look? I love it so much because it's super natural but like glam at the same time. I don't know, I can't explain it. It just feels like the most perfect natural lashes that are kind of like glamorous at the same time. So I'm so excited. So thank you so much. You did such an amazing job. Yeah, um, I will put all the information on uh, the lash salon in the description box down below so you can check it out um they're in the downtown la area so very accessible and uh, yeah i'm super happy with my lashes <laughs> <laughs> So if you are looking for a good lash technician, definitely check out Be Your Lashes in downtown LA. And then I also wanted to talk about the elephant in the room, I think, which is my hair. Um, <laughs> this morning I actually got my hair done by Jacob. Uh, Jacob is the hairdresser and hairstylist I always work with and he actually lives five minutes away from me. And um, because my original red color, like strawberry blonde color, kind of like 
rinsed out quite quickly and then I touched it up with a conditioning gloss that was more rose goldy and pink. Um, Jacob offered me to fix the color and go even more copper. So right now I think we left strawberry blonde and we are a full ginger redhead. I don't know what the right term is. How would you guys describe this color. Um, it is a toner so it will wash out quite fast but I actually like that because I am still not 100% sure if I want to, you know, go through life as a redhead. What do you guys think? I am definitely feeling it. This is also um, the first time I'm wearing my hair natural, uh, sorry, my natural waves with this color um, because in Texas the humidity is going to be so crazy that I I'm not even gonna bother like blowing up my hair, I'm just gonna rock it natural. So yeah, let me guys uh, know what you think of my new hair color and if red is the way to go. And then last but not least, I promise this is the last update, sorry for such a rambly intro, I wanted to talk about my skin because in a few vlogs before this I talked about my skin journey and that I decided to go to a dermatologist and um, it's been now almost like one and a half months that I've been on medication, I've been using doxycycline, which is an antibiotics, as well as a sulfur face wash, 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 and um, also this benzoyl peroxide, and I think it's called adapalene, um, like cream. And I have to say that my skin is looking so, so good. Obviously, I'm wearing some makeup right now, but literally, I don't even have to put foundation anymore on like the top half of my face. Like, I don't wear foundation, I'm just wearing concealer. And the only breakouts I have are around my chin. And I really think that that is also because of uh, wearing a mask. So other than that, my skin is looking so, so good. And especially with the lash extensions, I feel so confident wearing no makeup and uh, for some people that's a given but for somebody that struggles with redness and acne that is such an amazing feeling to have to just feel comfortable in your own skin knowing that your skin looks good knowing that you don't have to worry about like all this redness on your face all these spots so yeah if there's one thing that i can recommend is to definitely go and check out a dermatologist um i was a little bit hesitant going on medication a lot of you also said uh why aren't you doing roaccutane or this is not working for me you should do this but i just 100 percent recommend going to your doctor listening to your doctor's advice and just sticking to it because i did and i love it so yeah, those are all my beauty and life updates. Um, hopefully this wasn't too long of a ramble. What I'm going to do right now is that I am going to pack because I need to pack my suitcase and I also need to drop by Sebastian and pick up some stuff that he needs so I can bring it to him. Then I also need to shoot a campaign for Mrs. Myers. Um, I'm doing an Instagram collaboration for a new scent, like a new uh, cleaning scent review. If you watch any of my cleaning videos, you know that I love Mrs. Myers. It's the go-to cleaning brand that I use because all her products are um, derived from plants. It's like more plant-based. And then I have to do quite a lot of editing because I wanna edit the vlog before this so that it will go live on Sunday and I don't have to do any work when I'm with Sebastian. So yeah, quite a, a few things to do, but I'm very excited and um, hopefully it will be a productive day and obviously I'm taking you with me for the rest of the week. So yeah, Ooh, so excited, oh my gosh. Oh. So 
since I'm flying out tomorrow, I have this little tradition that I always like to order some takeout um, before so that I don't have to worry about getting groceries and, you know, not finishing everything and then expiring and throwing it away. So I also always like to order some extra food so I can take it with me on the plane because I usually don't like airport uh, food. So that's like my little travel tradition. And today I ordered from Pura Vita again, which is a completely vegan Italian place and it's so so good. I got a mint lemonade um, then I got these amazing um, breadcrumb potatoes, roasted potatoes. They're so so good. Then I got this which is some, um, I've never had this before but this is some uh, fried or grilled tofu. Then I got a meatball pomodoro pasta with some cashew ricotta, really really good and then as well a Caesar salad. So this is what I'm going to be taking with me on the plane, but I might eat a few bits right now. And then the rest I'm going to eat for lunch and dinner because um, yeah, I like to order a lot. So I save some um, delivery costs. I also quickly wanted to show you a few bits that I picked up uh, from Target for my laundry because I have quite some laundry to do before I leave to visit Sebastian and um, I wanted to try some new products. So I always try to get a little bit more of a natural um, type of laundry detergent and uh, today I'm going to try out the Method laundry detergent in fresh air but they also have these brand new Method fragrance boosters in Beach Sage and these smell amazing. And what I like to use this for is not only for my laundry to make it smell uh, more nicely, I also love to use this in my vacuum cleaner. So I'll just sprinkle a little bit uh, on the floor and vacuum it up and then when I'm vacuuming my whole space smells amazing because sometimes I feel like if you just vacuum clean your vacuum cleaner kind of smells like the dust um, it obviously vacuums and it's obviously not that nice of a smell so if you vacuum this first your vacuum uh, cleaner smells amazing as well as your apartment so that's like a little tip of mine I'm really excited for this So my loves, my living room is quite in <laughs> a terrible state. Um, all this stuff that you see here is usually stored in my suitcases, but because I'm obviously going to travel tomorrow, I have to take everything out and I'm just keeping it here for now. And then when I come back, I'll put everything back in my suitcases. I also um, displayed all my different like travel bags and travel pouches um, that I'm going to be using. I have some extra ones right here in case I need more but I think this is going to be enough. Um, so yeah that is everything. Um, now it is time to start packing. it is really really late right now it is 12 30 and i have to catch my flight at 8 10 a.m which means that i have to leave my apartment by 5 10 in the morning so that means that i kind of have to wake up at half five which is a pretty pretty early Considering the fact that I will have less than four hours sleep right now. Oh my gosh. But I am quickly finishing up packing. I did everything I wanted to do today. I'm so happy. Um, 
I shot the campaign for Mrs. Myers that I was working on. Um, I did my laundry. I cleaned the whole kitchen. It's smelling amazing. Um, I made this like beautiful flower arrangement that unfortunately I think is going to be dead by the time that I come back, which kind of breaks my heart. And um, now I'm just like folding my laundry. So I'm just quickly doing that because I love leaving my apartment in a very like organized and neat state before I leave um, because when I come back it's just so much nicer and I'm also quickly debating on what clothing I want to bring with me I am definitely going to be overpacking but at this point I don't even mind anymore um, so I'm definitely gonna bring some extra clothes also because I'm not 100% sure what me and Sebastian are going to be doing, like if we're going to be doing something. Um, we kind of got a little bit of bad news because unfortunately his, um, this is like so specific and the military is just such a bureaucratic institution and he needs to ask so many uh, different like permission forms and stuff like that. So in order for him to stay the night at my hotel, he needs to ask for um, a certain form. And they told him originally that it would get approved. So me and Sebastian were so happy because otherwise he would have to go back because he has a curfew. Sorry for the, for the background noise. Yeah, so he has a curfew. Literally feels like high school or something. Um, they did extend the curfew for 4th of July, so it is 2 a.m., which is not too bad, because originally it was 8 a.m., which is super, super early, if you ask me. Um, and then um, we were hoping that he would not have a curfew at all if he would get approved, like get that permission form um, approved. But unfortunately, even though, like, the MTL it's called it's like his supervisor he's new and he said that it would get approved and then when the time came which was today and he was asking for the stamp it was denied so I was very upset and very pissed off because I was just really hoping that me and Sebastian could sleep together and, and I don't know about you but one of my favorite things about being in a relationship. I mean, don't take me wrong. I mean, it sounds kind of weird, but I just love waking up next to the person you love. I don't know. It's just like a small thing that I just really, really appreciate. So my biggest pet peeve um, is also like sleeping alone. So I was just so excited for us to be able to, you know, wake up together. And now that's not going to happen. So that really sucks. But... I, I made peace with it, but it just, it's unfortunate. Um, but, in other words, Sebastian was so, so sweet because he actually upgraded my flight, which is the very first time of my life I've ever flown first class. And it's just a domestic flight and with American Airlines, so, you know, it's not like anything bougie or whatever, but I just thought it was so sweet that Sebastian just upgraded my flight so that it was more comfortable for me. So, so sweet. So, thank you, baby, if you're watching this. Um, I am now pretty much done. Gonna put all my stuff in the drawers. And then, time to remove my makeup. Put the last bits in my suitcase. I will show you that. And then it's time to sleep for the few hours <laughs> that I still have left. Okay, let's do this. So I just finished organizing all my laundry and this is everything I'm taking with me outfit wise and I thought it would be helpful to, you know, go through it with you and then maybe if you're planning a trip as well, this could be helpful. So this is everything that I'm going to bring with me for six days. Um, first of all, I have two shorts, one pair of denim shorts that are a little bit longer so um, because there's like a dress code i think um you need to wear like a little bit longer shorts i don't know so that's why i brought it with me just in case and then i also brought a pair of leather shorts that are also a little bit longer 
Then I have four bodysuits. These are the very famous Zara bodysuits. Then I have one long sleeve white top that's very beautiful and cottony. I'm probably gonna wear that with the denim shorts if I don't wanna wear um, one of these uh, bodysuits. For example, if I get sunburned, because I'm very worried about that. Then this is going to be my flying outfit. Um, and then when I'm going to have my layover, I'm going to change into this dress. Um, and then I have three more dresses because whenever it's hot i actually prefer wearing dresses over shorts so i have this white dress from for love and lemons it's very old but it's one of my favorites i'm thinking of wearing this for fourth of july because it's a little bit more i don't know like cute and dressy then i have this really cute dress that is in this beautiful lilac uh, polka dot print it's kind of like a floral polka dot print it's from Majorelle um, and I got it through Revolve and then last but not least I brought this military green very appropriate um, ruched dress from Princess Polly I love this dress and fun fact I wore this on my first date <laughs> with Sebi so um, yeah I really wanted to bring it with me and these are all the other items that I'm bringing with me. Um, quite a little bit, but I also still have so much space. So I'm quickly going to put everything in there. Wow, I finished packing and oh my gosh, I just realized how dirty the suitcase looks. But I promise you, I completely wiped it down after I came back from New Jersey. But I guess it still looks really dirty. I definitely need a new suitcase. But um, yeah, I packed everything. Whew, I, um, I'm very tired right now. I do love how this aesthetic is looking. Definitely need to upgrade my check-in luggage as well. But uh, this looks really cute. <sighs> so with that being said, I am going to bed. I am dead. I am tired. <sighs> I still have to remove my makeup and then... I have a few hours of sleep before my alarm goes off and my Uber is here to pick me up to go to see Sebi. <sighs> I can't wait. Okay, good night, my loves. Yeah.